Hey guys, Jaron Craig here and welcome back to Cryptology. Uh, I went on like a one month hiatus, but I was looking through my raw files the other day and I happened to come across a video that I think is essential for anyone that uses Binance Smart Chain or PancakeSwap and wants to buy those tokens. All you need is a Crypto.com app as well as uh, your MetaMask wallet. And it's a very easy process. I think just about anyone could do it. It's probably the easiest one that I've seen so far. So let's get started. It's a freaking Lambo! It's a freaking Lambo! All right, so once you've downloaded and set up your Crypto.com app, you just simply click this track button here. That's where you'll type in BNB. It should pop up. Click on the BNB. I will go to BNB wallet here. This is where you can buy or sell BNB or transfer it, which we'll be doing. So if you don't have BNB, go ahead and buy it here. You can use these menus here, navigate, buy it with your credit card or other crypto. But I already have some, so I'm going to go ahead and transfer mine. So click the transfer button after you've bought yours. And click withdraw. External wallet. Click this plus button here. Now we're going to go over to MetaMask. You're going to want to be signed into BSC Mainnet on MetaMask. If you don't know how to do that, just go to your settings and MetaMask. Go to Networks, Add Network. Click that Add Network button. And then you'll put in this information here. That's a quick crash course of how you add BSC to your MetaMask if you haven't already. But So we're going to copy this... Uh, wallet address here we're gonna paste it in here make sure you select BSC on the network continue now you just have to go through the verification thing real quick I'm gonna skip past this all right, so I went through the verification, got it all done. Now just simply push withdraw BNB, put in the desired amount, click withdraw. Now you'll see all the details as well as the network type, the fees, etc., etc., which is very low fees if you withdraw to BSC. Now click confirm. Now we got to go through verification again. All right, so the withdrawal request has been submitted. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. It could take up to a half hour or so. So now it should be heading over to my MetaMask wallet. I'll skip ahead and uh, we'll see what happens when it goes to the wallet. All right, so I just got an email that said it was successfully withdrawn. So we're going to go over and double check it. And it looks like it's in there. It's in my MetaMask wallet. Uh, so that's pretty much the simplest way I've found to do this, uh, especially for people in the U.S. So uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and have a wonderful day.